exactly. Hey, we have to hold and beat them for the drive. We have to beat them? Are we racing? Uh -huh. Where are we racing to? To them. To them? Mm -hmm. But where are we going to head toward? Uh, lunch. Lunch? And what would you like for lunch? Hey, hurry, hurry. Okay, I'll hurry, I'll hurry. We're at the zoo and it's snowing. Good morning everybody. I hope you guys are doing so well today. I'm actually on my way to scope out a fishing spot today. I'm not going to be doing any fishing. Um, I still need to get some poles and stuff. I actually had some poles that were my grandfather's uh, back in Charleston, but I didn't have anything to uh, transport it here and I didn't really have time uh, when I got them last week uh, to find something. So I'm probably going to be getting some new poles, so I'm not fishing today since I don't have those. But I have been sworn to secrecy for this spot. Two people told me about it, um, but I'm going to go scope it out today because I'm planning to go fishing on Father's Day weekend because my dad and my mom are actually going to be here in town, uh, so we're excited about that. Uh, but I'm going to go find this place uh, to make sure I know where it is. Uh, I kind of have a rough place uh, location where it is, and I just wanted to go find it out so we're not wondering on Father's Day weekend. So let's go. looking for the secret, secret fishing spot. Um, I just parked um, and I'm kind of walking to where I think it is and want to show you what I came across. Never seen one of these in person before. So I'm pretty sure that is a porcupine. It's dead. Yeah, that is definitely a porcupine. See the spikes back there? I wonder if somebody hit it with a car. I'm definitely next to a road. Probably heard that car go by, but that is a porcupine. It doesn't look like it's been dead super long because it doesn't smell. It's not rotting or anything, but it's definitely dead all right. Interesting. Never know what you're gonna see in Alaska. All right guys, I think I found it. I found a path. And I think this might be it. I was told a well-traveled path. So we'll see. I totally forgot my rain jacket. Should have brought it. Because the mosquitoes are definitely all around here. I see moose tracks. I see moose tracks. And I think that porcupine... <laughs> Hello, mosquito. I think that porcupine took this path too. Because I saw some quills. All right, where to go? I'm thinking that way. By the way, I am well protected. I have my knife, I've got my bear spray, and I do have a weapon that goes bang bang as well. Uh, I'm also being very loud, so I don't surprise a bear or anything like that, but I think this might be the way to go. I think I found it. Definitely didn't take the most direct route. But I think I can find more direct on the way back. But this is the spot. This is beautiful. I definitely smell fish. But no wildlife. I don't see any wildlife. This is pretty. Very pretty out here. Water's moving at a decent speed. Got a nice little uh, spot right there, easy to get down on in case you get a fish. Got some shade over here. Yes, I have been sworn 
to secrecy, like I said. But I'm not concerned with anyone finding this unless they're told exactly where it is. Because, you know, it just looks like Alaska. Gosh, it's so pretty out here. Even on a gray day like this, I could just sit out here all day long. And it'd be much better if we could catch a fish when we come. This is awesome. This is awesome. All right, this trail looks a lot more promising than the one I took. My pants are like soaking wet from a lot of the brush. I thought I saw a trail. It must have just been a small animal trail, i.e. porcupine. And uh, this one is much more wide open. I do have my big, tall, uh, extra tough boots. So thankfully I'm not too wet, just my pants a little bit. But this is awesome, found it. Thanks friends for sharing. A car definitely went off the road right here. See all these pieces. You know, it's sad walking, you know, trying to find this spot here on the ground. And you see this everywhere. So it really shouldn't be a surprise. It's just, it's sad. The sad the amount of you know alcohol bottles liquor bottles that I have just walked by um, beer cans um, rum vodka those type of things just tossed out um, and not only is it sad because it's littering but I'm pretty sure that means they were probably drinking and driving which DUIs do happen often up here from what I've heard but it's just sad seeing the Lack of respect that people have, you know, like here's one right here. See, there's some a big vodka bottle just tossed out. So like I was saying, it's just sad the lack of respect people have. A, for littering, and B, just for themselves and for other people, drinking and driving. Um, which I know, um, alcoholism is a disease and a lot of people need help, but it's still sad nonetheless. And... You know, just seeing probably every 10 feet I see one out here. Um, which is not something you typically think of when you think of Alaska. You think of nature and beauty and cleanliness. And uh, it's everywhere. And I actually have noticed, I was told this by someone too, that <coughs> excuse me, after the winter, when everything starts to melt, after the breakup season, you really start to see how much trash there is um, specifically around the Anchorage area is what I'm talking about because that's the only experience I really have so far uh, but you see so much after the snow melts and how many people I don't know if they feel better throwing it out in the snow knowing snow is just gonna go right on top of it and no one will see it until breakup season um, but that's a big reason too why the city has that uh, citywide cleanup that's like a week um, that we did in one of our other vlogs finally at the car that's why i stopped i'm out of breath though from walking up that hip, big hill but anyway it's just sad and i wish more people would just have respect you know for themselves for hurting themselves or hurting other people and just littering in general I, I obviously saw a lot of other trash coke bottles pepsi cans things like that um but alcohol just makes it even just a little more sad I actually made a U-turn because I've been meaning to go to this place since we moved here. Uh, and that would be Edmonds and Mirror Lake. Uh, I think I might just go to one today. I'm thinking Edmonds. For those of you that aren't familiar with Edmonds Lake, Edmonds Lake is the lake that Corey Williams from Live Each Day uh, skip that rock on that made uh, the coolest sound ever. I think that's what his video was called. I'll leave a link for it above. Uh, but I've been meaning to come here since we moved here. I've never been here during the spring summertime. Obviously, I won't be skipping any rocks on any frozen water since it's not winter time. But nonetheless, I wanted to come here. Um, I think there's a camp that you can go to with like cabins. You can stay in um, a trail around the lake. I don't really have time to do all that today. I've got to go get Jocelyn soon, but I actually hear people out there. I think they're singing a camp song or something. Can you hear that? Oh, 
That's cute. I remember doing that in camp, but I'm here at Edmonds Lake. Let's see what we find. Oh, somebody is missing a frozen shoe. How sad. That's kind of funny that that's up there. Just one shoe. Hear the, still hear them singing out there. Let's hope I don't slip down this. It, it uh, rained yesterday, so it's a tad wet. And I don't have the best shoes on right now. I had my uh, extra toughs on earlier. Now I just have my Crocs on. Oh, you hear them over there? Way -o, way -o. Wow, this is beautiful. Not just the voices, but it's very cloudy today. You can't see up at the top of the mountain. I'll definitely have to come back here on a clear day. But uh, there's a trail. I think that I think it walks around the entire lake. Um, I think the camp is over there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I kind of see some stuff across the way. I'd love to get a canoe in here or kayak. That would just be awesome. But this is Edmonds Lake. <laughs> that was awful. I'm trying to do that holding the camera and throwing with my other hand. I don't have my tripod with me. That didn't work very well. <laughs> Let's try this again. I got a flatter rock this time. See if I can do it while holding the camera. Oh, two skips. Edmonds Lake is definitely beautiful. I only saw this small little area. I'm definitely going to want to come back. Uh, probably bring Cassie and bring Jocelyn. Um, and we can walk around the lake. Uh, I'd love to do that when we have more time. I've got to go get Jocelyn at camp. She actually started camp this week at a school here in Eagle River. I think this week is science camp. Um, and next week I think is art camp. So she loves going to camp. Um, so far making a lot of new friends her age uh, at a school here in uh, Eagle River. Um, but Edmonds Lake is beautiful. I'm definitely going to have to come back and uh, probably check out Mirror Lake next time we come back. All right, hey Jocelyn, how was science camp? It was good. It was good. What is that in your hand? What'd you make today? Polymer. A polymer. That is right. Good job, honey. And do you know why it's a polymer? Because it, it's hard. Is it hard or is it squishy? Squishy. Yes, it's squishy. <laughs> Polymers are squishy, so they're not hard and they're not liquid. Hey, Drive. We have to beat them. Are we racing? Uh -huh. Where are we racing to? To them. To them? Mm -hmm. But where are we going to head toward? Uh, lunch. Lunch. And what would you like to do? Hey, hurry, hurry. Okay, I'll hurry. I'll hurry. Oh, guys, we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> All right, we did it. We beat them, Jocelyn. We beat them. We beat them. I'm so glad we beat them. Not sure what for, but let's head to lunch. <laughs> what, honey? Home to eat lunch, Dad. That's right, we're gonna go home to eat lunch. 